Hello everybody, it's Linda. Look, it's my new mat. Let me turn it off, that makes no difference at all. All right. Um, yeah, it's what I found at Dollarama on Christmas Eve. Anyway, so today I had to go to the post office and mail something to a certain somebody, Victoria. And so I hit my $2 trees. This is the only Valentine's thing I bought. It says notes of love. It just says jar decorate use only. Not intended for food. I mean, I don't know. There's also one that said blessings and had all this religious stuff on it. And I don't, I didn't want that. I just chose this one. Sorry. So it's just, they all come like this. with just, you know, the different, the two different designs that I noticed. So I just thought that was really cute. So. Um, yeah, jars of love. Notes of love from the jar. Okay, now my store had five of these left, so I bought them all, all five. I know you're thinking, Linda, what do you need so much glue for? I literally go through a ton of this because this is the glue I use most often for every, for almost everything. And it just really drains fast. And even yesterday I had like, when I have like a little bit left and then it becomes a hassle to use it so I get a new one out and the new ones only like around anywhere from here to here right they're not always full full so as soon as that gets low enough I then pour the old one into the new one which is what I just did yesterday anyway I use these what what was my math five of these equals um, one of the fabric tag how much was that that was eight fluid ounces is in my fabric tag and you need five or just under five, like this would equal one of those. And this was, you know, $1.25 times five, like way cheaper, even with the Michael's coupon. Anyway, I know I'm a glue, I'm a glue hog people. But that's just the way it is. What else did I buy? Okay, so at my original, my older Dollar Tree, the one closest to me, I found these. This is all they had left, two black ones. And I didn't realize that they don't match, the patterns don't match. But do I really care? No. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. But I just know that the one I have that I bought earlier this year or last year is like not a glossy finish, not a smooth finish. It's almost like chalky. And I'm not doing anything with that one. But anyway, I wanted these in case I do think of something. So I got the two black. And then when I went to my other Dollar Tree, and they had more, but they didn't have a lot. They had, I think they only had a couple blacks. I don't remember the pattern. And I didn't, like I said, I didn't realize mine were different or I would have bought the matching too. And they had different patterns of white, but I ended up only buying these, this pattern for two whites. So same kind of smooth finish. So got that. Um, uh, I also bought two things of glue because I'm running out of white glue because I made my own textured or modeling paste um, and I also had made clear gesso which I don't think you use glue but you anyway whatever I need and I had to buy white paint which I bought this at Dollarama because I didn't have any and Dollar Tree didn't have any white okay um, I'm kind of skipping ahead but anyway I bought white glue because I didn't have any just plain old white glue to help make things um, cause I did make my own clear gesso and modeling paste and I thought there was something else, but maybe not. Okay. Anyway, uh, so I just needed this for my stash cause I just didn't have any, but that's more for, like I said, more for making things than for using on uh, the way it's intended. Um, a Dollar Tree, the newer Dollar Tree, I grabbed a honey cause I never have any of my... It's open. I never have any, uh, I needed it for something in... I didn't have any in my kitchen. I thought I did. So that's that. Uh, and also in the new Dollar Tree, I bought three more packs of the disposable masks because I prefer these. Um, I bought this salt grinder. Uh, this was from Dollar Tree. Um, I don't think it matters which one. I think it was the, my first, the first store I went to, the older one. Um, I have the black pepper, which is exactly the same I don't, know, not, I don't know about the label, but it's exactly the same design and style and everything. 
and I like it. So I got that because my Himalayan salt shaker, which is like this big, there's a, about in the in the shaker, there's maybe this much, but it doesn't seem to grind anymore. So I'm going to just throw it out. I bought some bags. Um, this was at the new store because I don't have a medium. It says petite, but this is quart. I need like bigger than a sandwich bag. So I'm going to assume that this is, yeah, this is slightly bigger than a sandwich bag. So it is the size I wanted. So that's fine. Um, I don't even know if that, this is for downstairs for the kitchen, just like, just like this is for the kitchen and this is for the kitchen and the masks. Yes. So like I said, at Dollarama, I bought the white paint and I also found this. It's called Glitter Ice. They had four of them and this was the only one that, well, it's not doing it now, but you can kind of hear the shaking. The other one didn't seem to move. So the other three didn't seem to move that well. So I just bought the one and we'll see, uh, see what happens. I guess it's a white with glitter in it. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll get, I'll play with it. And I also bought another one of these plaques, these wood plaques. They had a third one. They might've had more than three, but I had bought one before and one of the, you probably saw it in my last haul. And they had another one that had a flower and then it had some like bumblebees or something buzzing around. But I just grabbed this one for flowers. Um, this was $1.50. Oh, this was from Dollar Tree, my old Dollar Tree. Uh, these are little laser cut things. These are clocks. They had uh, keys, hearts, unicorn rainbow set, and probably some others, but I only bought the clocks because I thought they were really cute. And last but not least, this thing. So I bought three more of these. So what I did was I took my screwdriver and I took off the book plate and the screws. I took them off the three. The other six, I'll just take them off as I need them. But just to buy book plates alone, it's insane how much they, they, they are. They're hard to find just to walk into any store and buy them. You can't, like they're hard to find. Um, order online, they're expensive. They're like, they can be pricey. And I figure for $1.25, I get a nice picture frame. Now, since this can be turned and, and now this can be, you can turn it so that this would be the top instead of the bottom. Um, I, I can always fill those holes unless I'm after, like when I'm decorating it, if I'm going to cover it with something, then I don't even have to worry about covering the holes. But other than that, or I can just put some of the modeling paste in there until it's, you know, flush. But yeah, so I have these cute little picture frames that can be done, done up anyway. And like I said, I took these three off. Now, I think it was Gail... Gail Patricia showed it looked like a block of wood with a big one of these where you slide your picture in. I swear she said Dollar Tree. I couldn't find them at either Dollar Tree store and I completely forgot to look when I was at Dollarama. So next time I go out I'll just look again but anyway it looked like hers were like probably like this big and to me it's and I remember I, that's why I thought it was Dollar Tree because I think in my head I'm thinking that alone that book plate alone, like the big one that she has, <laughs> costs way more than $1.25. So anyway, I took those off and I'll put those with my other hardware. And I can finally, you know, like I do have a few metal ones, but it's just nice to build the collection. So, and that's it. And I hope you're all admiring my glass cutting board. Um, I have to say there was only a couple left when I walked out of my Dollarama, or were there? <laughs> no. Who knows what's left now, but there were a couple left in the store. But like I said, the, when I bought it on Christmas Eve, there was probably a dozen left when I walked out. Anyway, that's it. That's my haul. I'll, I don't know if I'll go out again before the end of the year, but um, that just means Saturday. That means the weekend, right? Or And today's only Tuesday, so... I, I don't see myself going out for a while, but you never know. Anyway, I hope you guys all had a good Christmas and you have a nice relaxing week if you don't have to work, because I don't have to work this week, so yay. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.